Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome to this lesson. My name is Moniki. It's chemistry lesson from three. The topic is gas laws. Remember in the previous lesson, we discussed the conversion of temperature from degree Celsius to Kelvin. Maybe to remind you, we said that for you to be able to convert temperature from degree Celsius to Kelvin, that we earned 273. For example, if you want to convert 0 degree Celsius to Kelvin, then this will be will be 0, you earn 273, which gives you 273, 273 Kelvin. So anytime you are converting temperature from degree Celsius to Kelvin, you earn 273. Maybe another example, if you have, let's say, 100 degrees Celsius, and if you want to convert this temperature from degree Celsius to to Kelvin, it will be 100 and 273, which gives you 373, 373 Kelvin. That is what we did in, we did in the previous lesson. And therefore, I gave you some assignment, some questions, and I hope you've done that. In our today's lesson, we are discussing a conversion of temperature in Kelvin to degree Celsius. It's just the opposite of what we did last time. For you to be able to convert temperature in Kelvin to degree Celsius, we subtract 273. So to convert temperature, from convert temperature from degrees from kelvin to degree celsius we subtract 273 so we subtract 273 want us to do some examples just show you how it is done. Convert the following Convert the following temperature in Kelvin to degrees Celsius. I want us to do three examples. First, have 273 Kelvin. And have 10 Kelvin. So you can have three three eighty Kelvin. So convert the following temperature in Kelvin to degrees Celsius. I want us to start with the first one. And you have seen that if you are given temperature in Kelvin, for you to be able to convert this temperature from Kelvin to degrees Celsius subtract 273 therefore this will be 273 273 you subtract 273 and this gives you 0 degrees Celsius 273 minus 273 it gives you 0 degrees Celsius next 10 Kelvin this will be 10, you subtract 273. 10 minus 273, 
this gives you negative 263 degrees Celsius. Negative 263 degrees Celsius. The third, 380 Kelvin, this will be 380 subtract 273. This gives you, you can use your calculator if it's near you, 380, you subtract 273. This gives you 107 degrees Celsius. 107 degrees Celsius. So it is that simple. To convert Kelvin to degrees Celsius, always remember to subtract 273. I want to give you some more examples so that you understand better on what we are doing. The next You're still converting the following temperature temperature in Kelvin to degrees Celsius. You can have 400, 400 Kelvin. five Kelvin. You can also have negative, negative 10 Kelvin. negative 10 Kelvin. In number C on this example, we have 400 Kelvin. So to convert this temperature, it will just be 400, you subtract 273. 400, you subtract 273. So you can use your calculator if it's near you also. This gives you 127. One hundred and twenty-seven degrees Celsius. Next we have nine hundred and five Kelvin. So it will be nine hundred and five subtract two seventy-three. This gives you you can again get your calculator and calculate. So nine, 905, you subtract 273, giving you 632 degrees Celsius. 632 degrees Celsius. And lastly, 10 negative 10 Kelvin to degree Celsius, this will be negative 10, subtract 273, this will give you negative 283 degrees Celsius. So that is how simple these ones can be. Anytime you want to convert temperature from Kelvin to degree Celsius, remember you're subtracting 273 like we have done in these examples. 273, you subtract 273, then gives you zero degrees Celsius. If you have 10 Kelvin, you want it in degrees Celsius, this will be 10. You subtract 273, it gives you negative 263 degrees Celsius. If you have 380 Kelvin, if you want to convert this one to degrees Celsius, it will be 383. You subtract 273 and it gives you 107 degrees Celsius. And if you have 400 Kelvin, if you want a degree Celsius, then it will be 400, you subtract 273, giving you 127 degrees Celsius. If you have 905 Kelvin, you want it in degree Celsius, then it will be 905 you subtract 273, then you're left with 632 degrees Celsius. And lastly, if you have 
negative 10 Kelvin. You want them in degrees Celsius, then it will be negative 10. You subtract negative 273, then this gives you negative 283 degrees Celsius. That is our lesson today. But before I leave you, I will leave you with an assignment. And the assignment is this. Convert the assignment is convert the following temperature in Kelvin to degrees Celsius. So first 105 Kelvin, second 350 Kelvin, third 200 and sorry 27 Kelvin, fourth negative 20 Kelvin, fifth 707 Kelvin, then lastly 800 Kelvin. So ensure that you've done those calculations or those conversions before we meet in the next lesson. Thank you for being part of this lesson. Thank you.